Hello, we're speaking from the Mansfield Ceramics Gallery here in Darlinghurst in inner city Sydney, where we're about to open a show that has travelled from the Sokyo Gallery in Kyoto in Japan, and it's been organised by their curator, Yoshika Yajima, who has taken, who's travelled the work of eight artists here to Sydney. First of all, the show was at our international festival in Gulgong, and now, a couple of months later, we're here in Sydney. So I'd like to introduce you to Yoshika. Yoshika, I would ask you, first of all, the choices that you made regarding the eight artists that you've brought here to Australia. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Yoshika Yajima from Sokyo Gallery in Kyoto. And um, yes, in response to the question of Bernadette, so um, I have chosen eight artists, uh, 24 pieces to exhibit in this beautiful gallery space. Uh, the reason is like, um, well, I focus on the theme of blue and white and because blue and white has been one of the representative Japanese ceramic decorations from the past. Um, blue and white, the pigment has initially brought through the trading with uh, China, operated by East Indian um, company, by Dutch people. So I thought this is a great theme because this time I have brought uh, 24 pieces from Japan all over the Pacific, uh, Asian Pacific Ocean. So this is very, um, interesting idea, I thought. So as you can see in this space, I have selected lots of blue and white pieces. And also I wanted to question what's the Japanese artist in this show. So um, for instance, I have selected Jun Kaneko, who is Japanese, yet he has been based in US for a long time. So my question is, what is Japanese ceramics? Is that based on the location where the artist works for? or is that based on the nationality of the artist? And so through these questions, I hope you're gonna have another perspectives of your understanding of Japanese ceramics. Thank you very much, Yoshika. Could we just return, you mentioned Junkaneko, who of course is globally um, regarded, highly regarded as a ceramic artist. If we could perhaps look at this one work here by Junkaneko, could you talk us through it? Uh, sure, um, he has worked a lot on the theme of dot, and this is one of his iconic pieces. As you can see, um, if you go very close to this work, you can see the dot, and this dot has a little sort of like, um, it's not the uh, tears, but it looks like a kind of like crying. So this is very his iconic technique. And also, I could say, oh, this piece is slightly smaller scaled pieces, and which was particularly made for, um, Japanese housing, uh, like Jun Kaneko, who visited to Tokyo Gallery about three years ago, and he spent a certain time to investigate what the Tokyo Gallery space means for him. Mm -hmm. So after studying the gallery space, he decided to make smaller scaled um, art pieces like this. So in this sense, this um, smaller scaled pieces is very special because this was created in relation to Japanese house scale, I mean the gallery space. Excellent. And could we just go through the names of the other seven artists that are showing here at the gallery? Oh, okay. So uh, this is um, this, these works were created by Kato Tsubusa. He was born 1962, and now he's based in um, Gifu Prefecture, which is a very famous place for clay, not far from Tajimi. And um, he is using the clays produced in New Zealand. And if I pronounce correctly, these clays are called kalium. And I thought it's very interesting idea to bring his pieces back to the uh, clay production place nearby. This is, I mean, Sydney is not so far from New Zealand. So again, this is very much related to the idea of uh, relocation and identity of material and art pieces and what is Japanese um, ceramics. Because appearing to these clays are not produced in Japan, yet mm -hmm. represented as a Japanese ceramics. So I hope you enjoy <laughs> these works. Yes. And um, okay, next I go for these works. So these two very beautiful um, works were created by uh, Fuku Fukumoto, female artist. And recently, uh, she exhibited her pieces, these very similar pieces, a stacked table looks like pieces, was exhibited in the Decorative Art Museum in Paris. 
uh, as a part of Design Week. It's called D Days, and um, so now she's very popular in Paris. And to some degree, for me, these stacked uh, table looks like work. This could come from the idea of tea ceremony. Yes. This is my interruption, so I'm not sure whether the artist thinks in the same way or not, because in the tea ceremony, we have a uh, section of koicha, which means thick tea, and in which we use uh, tea balls by stacking. So somehow, I can relate her works in t works with tea ceremonies practice. So in that sense, this is very iconic and very Japanese in my understanding. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then down this end of the gallery. Oh yes. So I these beautiful blue uh, porcelains, these were created by Takuro Furukawa. He is based in Kyoto and he was born 1979. And these looks, at first glance, it looks like a glass and of course, the surface is glass. Yes. Yet uh, the core part, he first of all makes a shape by porcelain. So he uses a wheel to make the shape. And on the top of that, he, uh, no, after making a shape by po um, clay, he fired this in the very high temperature. And he put a bla black, a sort of like mud, and it's a glaze, and he fired this again. And after that, he put platinum foil. It's very um, tiny seeds. He put on the surface and make a pattern. And then he fire this again. And no, no, before that, he make a shape by using bamboo stick to make this precise line. Yes. Because he anyhow have to refine the patterns. And he fired this once after, I mean, finishing making pattern. And later, he put uh, glaze, glass glaze, in which, in which he put um, cobalt blue pigment. So as a result, and after putting this pigment and make, mixing with uh, glasses, he fired this again. And finally, this um, beautiful aestheticness is created. So in total, he fires four times. Yes. And it takes about two months. So he can't produce that much. Mm -hmm. So even some people want to buy his pieces. If you don't have a luck, you can't purchase his mm. pieces. Mm. And you're right, it really does look like glass as mm -hmm. opposed to ceramics, doesn't it? It yes. is. It, it looks like a glass, yet it, this yeah. is a um, mixture. And, the, and these beautiful pots here, who um, are they by? OK, these uh, works were created by Fuku Fukumoto, the mm -hmm. same artist you saw at yes. the entrance nearby. And this is a slightly earlier pieces of her. And if you go close to have a look of the, these glaze, it looks like very much crying for some people and smiling for the other yes. people. And I really yeah. like this subtleness, very cheerful and mm. can go with any interiors. Mm. So mm. in that sense, this is my favorite piece. And in this corner, this blue and white piece down here is an iconic piece yes, um, of, of ceramics. Indeed, uh, this piece is created by uh, an artist Harumi Nakashima. He is now the um, he is now teaching at Tajimi Ceramic Institute in Japan, and lots of young ceramicists study under him. Mm -hmm. And yes, apparently this is very um, eye-catching and very organic shape, mm. and quite unique. And I thought this is again very interesting piece, especially for the art students. Absolutely, because yes. Because Craig Algon, as I understood, so many people who study um, ceramics, they come to see for having their new inspiration source. So definitely I thought this is important to include his work. Excellent, the excellent. And these works here? Okay, so these works were made by a young artist, uh, Kentaro Kawabata. And he works um, two different types of techniques. So one technique, um, as you can see, two of the pieces, these are um, these surface, I mean, the aestheticness is created by um, putting glass, the glass into clay. So he, how could I explain? Oh, he put a fragments of glasses into the clay and he fire all together. And as a result, the color of, of glass is melting down. So mm -hmm. this is, this effect is created by melting glasses after mixing uh, mm -hmm. glass into clay. 
And this is more like another type of uh, glaze. He, as you can see, he uh, uses a lac technique to make this piece. And also he uses a, a silver um, glaze to create this shape. So it's slightly different kinds of um, works, yet I thought it's interesting to, for, to include four, four works all together in this table. Yeah. Excellent. Well, look, Yoshika, thank you very much indeed thank for you bringing so these indeed. works to Australia. You have until the end of July to come and view these works, many of them the first time these artists have been shown in Australia. Thank you very much for your time. Thank <laughs> you.